Welcome, Sunrise family, to The Bridge Online, a cool place for fifth and sixth graders to have fun, hang out, and learn a little bit about Jesus. So here we go. What's up, Peter? Hi. How are you doing? Good. Good? You know what? One of those things about this whole entire month has been talking about bouncing back. That means when we hit hard times, when we're going through struggles, that God gives us the way to stand back up. So let me ask you this. Why do you think we get to keep on going and keep on having hope? Because Jesus died for our sins. Exactly. Giving us the hope of eternal life. So we're going to talk a little more about that. Let's dive right in. doing some trampolining? Yeah. Yeah, looks like hard work. It is. Hey, you know, whenever I trampoline for a long time, it always feels weird to, to, to jump off and, and stand on solid ground. You know, it always feels like my legs want to keep jumping, you know, like they're still on the trampoline. You know, does that ever happen to you? What? No. Oh, oh. I guess <laughs> it's just me then. Hmm. 90, 99, 100. Oh, Wait. that feels good. Yeah, no, that's what yeah. I was talking about. Oh, I need some refreshments. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. Ah, it feels great. Oh, did you want some? No, oh. I definitely do not Here. want any. Please. Here you go. I'm going to go run a mile. <laughs> Hello world! I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And you're watching The So-and-So so -and -so Show! A show that highlights the importance of living life with joy, resilience, and a passion for what God is doing in the world. Exactly, and might I add, for five long years now, we've been doing a pretty good job. I would agree, my friend. It mm. seems like no matter what life has thrown at us. No matter what obstacles we've had to face. No matter how zany or silly things got. Nothing can keep us from doing this show! Oh. oh. 
Sorry. <laughs> chicken fell off. Chicken yeah, down. Yeah. Sorry. Chicken down. <laughs> Let me get that. All right. All right. All right. There you go. Can yeah. we can we do that again? Maybe yeah. maybe don't hit the desk. No no no, no no no. I got it. Can, yeah. we, can we can we reshoot this because yeah. the chicken has to be in the shot. Right. Yeah. Hello world. I'm John and I'm Brandon and you're watching the, the So and So Show. Oh no. Whoa. Chicken down. Yeah yeah. It's <laughs> funny. Can we go again? Yep. Hello world. I didn't even do anything. I know. Hello world. I'm John. No. Tape it down. Tape <laughs> Hello! Ah! Hello, world. You know what? I'm done. Me too. I'm done. Me too. Yeah. Uh, whoa, whoa, wait. We haven't finished shooting yet. Well, tell that to the chicken. Yeah, the chicken doesn't want to do its job, then neither do we. We yeah. quit. Well, no, don't tell me we have a someone who knows stuff today. There is a someone who knows stuff, yes. <sighs> You want to have another though. Hi, um, do I just come in? Oh no, sure, sure, sure. Just don't mind a chicken on the floor. Come on in. How's he? <laughs> yeah, just sit down right there. Right there. Hey, That's tell great. us who you are and what you know. <laughs> That's okay with you, chicken. <laughs> yeah. Did I come at a bad time? Sorry, <laughs> sorry, no. It's. A it's the chicken. Yeah. Please. Hi, I'm Andrea, and I play soccer in college. That's great. Let me ask you something here, Andrea. When everything is going wrong on the soccer field and nothing seems to be working out for you, don't you just want to yell out, I, I, I give up. It's over. It's too hard. I can't handle the chicken. Y yeah, I felt like that before, um, except for the chicken part. <laughs> um, we apologize. The chicken has been very disruptive today, and we... And we've decided that this is our last show. And we're quitting. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's weird because just recently I almost quit playing soccer. Why? Oh, well, was it a chicken? <laughs> no. <sighs> I tore my MCL and ACL. Your mickle and ackle? <laughs> MCL and ACL. They're ligaments that hold my knee joint together. Ow. Ow. Oh. I tore them in the middle of a match about a year ago. It was some of the worst pain I've ever felt. <sighs> So I'm guessing that you couldn't play soccer for a couple of days, huh? Yeah. Try a whole year. Ooh. I had to have several surgeries, and it took a really long time for my knee to heal. I had to go to physical therapy and get back in shape, and it just felt impossible. Yeah. <laughs> That's when I thought about quitting. But you didn't. No. I realized I love the sport. I love hanging out with my teammates, and I like contributing to something that was bigger than me. And in order to keep going, I had to choose to do the hard work no matter how difficult. You know what, Andrea? I'm, I'm glad you came on the show today because I think you've helped put a lot of things in proper perspective for us. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be late for practice. Uh -huh. yeah. See you guys later. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, see ya. See ya. Thank you for coming in. Wow. What an amazing story. I mean, that took so much strength. So much determination. So much courage. Yeah. You still want to quit doing this show? Oh, definitely, because I can't handle the chicken! Yeah! Hey, fellas, don't leave! It's not our fault, Kellen. Blame the chicken. The chicken! I know. I've been watching. I sort of get your frustration with the chicken, but I need to tell you the Bible story before you leave. I guess you're right. One last time? Um, aren't you guys going to... You know, I'll just do it. <clears throat> it's Bible story time with me. So, fellas, have I got some verses for you. Awesome. And today, I've brought one of your favorite motivational guests to help me share them. Please welcome to the show my esteemed colleague and fitness guru, Horvath. <laughs> Horvath, what's up? Hello. Dude, are you okay? No. Oh. <laughs> what, what's wrong? My Bible sizing days are over. Oh, no, not you too. <laughs> I broke my littlest fingers. <laughs> and now I can no longer exercise. 
<laughs> Buzz! Boo hoo! Boo hoo hoo hoos! Are you crying? My dear ducks are so muscular they don't allow tears to escape their pores. Oh boy. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to tell the Bible story and lead us in some exercises. You can do them with me, Horvath. But my pain gaze! Okay, well, it's time to Bible size with Kellen. I'll share some Bible verses and then periodically match an exercise of my own invention to help you remember them. Cool? Boo-hoos! Awesome. Today's verses are found in the book of Hebrews chapter 12. The writer of Hebrews wrote, Let us throw off any sin that holds on to us so tightly, and let us keep on running the race marked out for us. All right, first exercise. I call this one the throw and run. Good names. Yeah, thank you. Basically, you hold your hand shoulder high and do a squat. And when you come back up, you throw off everything and run in place really fast. How many should we do, Horvath? Ah, uh, 482. Right. Why don't you count for us and I can do the exercise? Oh, okay, okay. All right. Ready? Goes! One! <laughs> two! <laughs> thread! <laughs> fountain! Uh, not a number. 492! <laughs> uh -huh. Wow, I feel great. Are you sure you don't want to join in, Horvath? Mm, Boho's? Okay, next part. Let us keep looking to Jesus. He is the one who started this journey of faith, and he is the one who completes the journey of faith. Okay, second exercise. I call this one, look to Jesus. Ooh. All right. We'll start squatted down into a tight ball. Then we will leap as high as we can, putting one hand over our eyes as if we're looking to see as far as we can. How many of these should we do? Oh, uh, 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 let's do a big numbers. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, two. Okay, you count. <laughs> Ready, <laughs> goes. One, two. <laughs> Theater. Okay. <coughs> Phosphorus. Phosphorus. <laughs> two. <laughs> ah, yeah, oh. what's next, what's next? Oh. Okay, uh, next part. And this is really important. Ready? Ready. All right. Jesus paid no attention to the shame of the cross. He suffered there because of the joy he was looking forward to. Then he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. He made it through these attacks by sinners. So think about him. Then you won't get tired. You won't lose hope. Okay. Third and last exercise. We take our arms and we let them hang by our sides. Uh -huh. Then we flex our arms with our index fingers pointing to our brains. Then we're gonna push our pointing fingers down to our hearts. Oh. Oh. And I call this one, think and live. And we will do this no, one. No, we will do this one 127 times. <laughs> Whoa, Horvath. Are you sure? I am more sure than ever. All right, but your pinky. I will just have to fight through the pains, boo-hoos. <laughs> okay, take it away. All right, ready? Goes! One! <laughs> two! <laughs> Thistle! <laughs> Fonzie! <Whoa>. 127! <laughs> Great job! Now let's do all the exercise again really fast! Oh, 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 but... Um, go, go, go! Okay. Uh, uh, right. Let's, uh, keep on running the race. Throw and run! Ooh. 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 Uh, let's keep looking to Jesus. Look to Jesus! Oh. Ah. <laughs> Think about Jesus and you won't lose hope. Think and live! Oh. Ooh. Yeah, that was excellent! <laughs> uh, what made you fight through the pain of your... Broken uh, pinky. Oh, I was listening to everything Jesus did, how he never gave up, even though it was going to be hard. I was perspired. Inspired? Yeah. All right, Ooh. I love it. What did you guys think? 
Uh, well, I think maybe Brandon and I need to think a little more like Horvath does. Yeah, with your brains and your heart out. Jesus didn't let anything get in the way of his mission here on earth. Exactly. Jesus kept going when life got tough. He never gave up. And because of his life, death, and resurrection, we can reconnect with God. And we have an amazing example of how God wants us to live. Thanks, Kellen. Oh, oh, and Horvath. See you, fellas. Now throw the loose! Well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, it's not your fault. We were in the wrong. We're not giving up on this show. Or you. Yeah. Or you. We're whispering to a plastic chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Where are the other questions? Oh. Oh, what can help you focus on Jesus? Yeah, you could read the Bible. Yeah. Or, or you can pray. Or just think about all he's done, especially when times are hard. Oh, yeah. Then you can be inspired to keep going. Yeah. Talk about it together. What can help you focus on Jesus? And we'll be right back here next time, like always, for another so-and-so show. <laughs> I can't believe we were going to give up because of a chicken. <laughs> no, we were so silly back then. Oh, totally. See, I'm not even phased. Um, no, me neither. <laughs> all right. Jumping's my life, man. I could jump all day. I could do anything while I'm jumping. Oh, oh you can. You yeah. think you can make a bowl of cereal? Sure I can. All right, let's see. Uh -huh. There you go. Here. Oh, a bowl too. Oh, yeah. Living in my mouth. Oh, that went the wrong way. My kids are so proud. <laughs> <laughs>